I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. How should a Christian respond to evidence of paranormal activity? This is a really good question because we have all kinds of uh, television shows and documentaries and podcasts about all types of the quote unquote paranormal. So let's kind of pull it in a moment and talk about what does the Bible say about this? Well, and the Bible says that there is the Holy Spirit of God that operates within our lives and in our lives. The Bible also says in 1 John 4, 1, to test the spirits to see if they are of God. So anytime we're dealing with the paranormal, anytime we're dealing with a spiritual activity that is not what we know is the Holy Spirit, I think we can concur that it is probably, quote, not of God. There's no evidence in the Bible that God allows our loved ones within his realm uh, to return to us, to give advice to us, to speak to us, to communicate with us, or to just hang out in an old house to visit people who pay a lot of money to vacation there on the weekend, <clears throat> i.e. Savannah, Georgia. But nonetheless, at the end of the day, the way that we address it is, number one, 1 John 4, when we test it. Number two, I think we pray God's protection for and or against it. The Bible talks about all the spiritual warfare that is around us. And according to John chapter 17, Jesus had this prayer for his children, his disciples, you and I. He says, I don't pray that you would take them out of the world, but you would protect them from the evil that is in the world. In other words, there is no need to go ghost chasing, ghost hunting, or haunted house searching. I believe all of that is contrary to God of the demonic realm and cannot, as a believer in Jesus Christ, be edifying to one's walk with Jesus. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.